Today, the American Dairy Association is presenting its conference on the whole child approach. That includes the school, the community, our parents, every stakeholder that's going to help us deliver the services necessary to provide children with great nutrition, opportunities around physical education, and everyone has a part in it. It is so important for our kids to get a good meal in the morning, and that does help with their thought process throughout the day. You know, I've seen so many kids in Hyde Park School District, I believe it's 40% of the kids live below the poverty level. I can't even imagine. So it's so important for them to have a good meal or two if they have breakfast and lunch during the day because we don't know what happens after that. Implementing programs that ensure more students have access to nutritious breakfast every day is imperative to their success and indeed ours. Starting the day with a healthy breakfast is reported to improve academic success, class participation, and energy throughout the day. This is the first generation in the history of America. If you are working in a school right now, the children that you teach, they will not grow up to be healthier than their parents did. You know, 66% of chronic disease in America is preventable based on decisions people make in their lifetime related to nutrition, related to exercise. So as we know this morning, um, it's been talked about a lot, when kids don't get the nutrition they need, we're missing out on that um, vital resource that's readily available to help fuel our kids in the morning. When we look at low income participation, so low income is specifically children who are eligible for free and reduced price meals. Only one in four children eat school breakfast each day. We wanted to know, are principals seeing any of these benefits um, in their school buildings? Um, as a result of breakfast after the bell. And sure enough, we did find that they were. 66% of principals found that there were fewer occurrences of student hunger. 36% of, of principals noted that there was improved student achievement. When this conflict arises, the best individuals to solve this problem are those most directly involved. Restorative practices is a tool that really helps build a strong school environment. Breakfast after the bell works, and I salute all of you for supporting this amazing program. Studies show that students who participate in physical education and or recess prior to a test earn higher grades than those who don't. It's a no-brainer for me. I really enjoy doing it, getting a chance to go and see a lot of these kids and try to get them off every day on the right foot, and that's with a healthy, nutritious uh, breakfast so that they will be at their best, like I was at my best when I, when I was playing football back in the day. So in closing, I'd just like to say that I'm very appreciative to be a part of a school that is involved in the breakfast in the classroom and fuel up to play 60 programs. I urge everyone to always start your day with a healthy breakfast and never let a day go by without doing something active and getting your body moving. Thank you.